boys and girls. Today we're going to talk a little bit about shape. Okay, shape is an element of art that we all know. Um, we know names of shapes for some shapes and some shapes don't have names. So on this page, it says, create an overlapping shape design in your sketchbook using geometric and organic shapes, colored in using a range of values. Now we're gonna, we're gonna deviate from that, which means we're gonna do something a little bit different and we're not gonna worry about this bottom part. If you open up my sketchbook, I started and I have two pages one says organic shapes. Organic shapes are shapes found in nature. So shapes that you might find if you are taking a walk outside. Um, shapes maybe that water droplets make. Um, living things are organic shapes. I drew a variety of organic shapes and I colored them in. And go ahead and do, if you only have a pencil, go ahead and shade them in. If you have lots of colors, use those colors. Um, but fill them in and overlap to make kind of an abstract space on the blank pages in the back of your book. Next to it, I want you to go ahead and write geometric shapes. Geometric shapes are shapes with names. So the shapes that you learned, maybe in kindergarten or preschool, shapes like a circle. Uh, I used a cup and I traced a circle. And the next thing I would do is I would color or shade it in. And then I would think of another geometric shape. So maybe a square or a star. Geometric shapes are man-made shapes. So... They are not found in nature, usually. They are much more perfect than organic shapes. Uh, so if you find something that you could trace to maybe do a rectangle or an oval, look around your house, find some organic, or not organic, we already did organic, geometric, and color those in. So your assignment this week is two pages, a page with organic shapes colored in, and geometric shapes. Okay? Take a picture and upload it to Seesaw. I'd love to see what you do. Have fun with some shapes.